Hi! My name is David Beery. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a steel drum in 18 simple steps. Looks beautiful. I like chrome. It just looks marvelous. The good thing is, it looks marvelous. The bad thing is, when it comes back from the chrome shop, it sounds like this. Not too nice. However, the better news is, when you finish tuning it, it's going to sound something like this. Now, when it comes to tuning a chrome drum, you might want to use some hammers with tape on the face of them so it doesn't mar the surface of the chrome. Metal on metal doesn't do a very good job at that. Also, when you use your strobe tuner and your hammers, uh, tuning it up after it's been chromed is a much easier process. The notes have already been tuned once and it goes a lot more smoothly. Let me show you a little bit of how I did this. First, listen for the proper electronic pitch. The middle E flat is sharp. I'll bring it flat by hitting near the edges of the note from the bottom side and push it up a bit in the center. Next, I'll reshape the note from the top and bring the pitch lower still. Listen for the true pitch. My note is now flat, so I'll bring it uh, sharp by hitting near the octave area on the groove line. I'll push the fundamental down in the middle, muffling the fundamental, and I'll check for the octave. Check for conflicting harmonics on the high note. Raise the octave. Set the note by striking it hard. Check the pitch again. It went sharp, so I'll push it down from the top. Check it again. Still went sharp. So I'll try lowering the pitch from the bottom near the groove lines. Flip it over, check the pitch, and make some fine adjustments. Seems like it's doing okay. Raise the octave a little bit from the octave area on the front. Check it again. Flatten the octave a little bit by hitting behind the note outside the groove line. And I'll move to the E flat rim note. Lower the rim E flat to match the middle octave E flat. Wow, came in pretty quick. some fine adjustments. Check the note with my bigger mallet. Sounds pretty good so far. Step number 15, final now, tuning. Let me show you a few tools we'll be using. The strobe tuner is a very exciting piece of equipment. We use this to show us graphically where the pitches are and if they're flat or sharp. These dials that you see here will spin individually. I'll show you. This low A, starting on octave number one, now is shown that it's in tune. I'll move up to octave two, and you can see that in bold. Number three, there it is. Number four, and number five. 
It has six and seven above it, but we don't have pitches on the machine that actually represent those. But all of these are represented and used when we're making steel drums. Another tool that I use for tuning is this tuning hammer. It's smaller, still has a very nice shape to the head, but it's just small and useful for the higher notes and the higher octaves.